Hepatitis B. Four trials medication of may come in next 12 months. These trials are for functional cure for hepatitis B. What treatment methods are researchers using? Are any trials close to finding one? Let's watch this video to know. In the trusted sources found, there are four medications of trials or may come in the next 12 months. Let's know those medications are one by one. 1. IP Cure B. ANRS Research Center in France is running IP Cure B proof of concept phase 2 clinical trial, which is due to end on the 30th of June 2024. The aim of the study is to evaluate whether stopping nucleotide or nucleoside analog after Selgontalamod, SLGN, treatment can significantly reduce HBSAG compared to standard of care treatment for CHB. There are three arms to the study. One arm with no intervention. One with NUC discontinuation after 28 weeks in. One with NUC discontinuation at 28 weeks after SLGN treatment for 24 weeks. 2. Hepatitis B immune globulin. Currently, the Hanover Medical School, Germany is seeking a functional cure from immunoglobulins in a phase 2 trial, HBIG for cure, which is due to end on 1 August 2023. Hepatitis B immune globulin like Hepatect, Nabi HB, Zutectra, Neohepatect, Fovipta contains mainly immunoglobulin G and acts as passive immunizing preparation. This trial is important to understand the effect of immunoglobulins. Can immunoglobulins really achieve a cure? Dr. Bertoletti explains. I don't think it will achieve cure and I think that patients could become S antigen negative, but it will be just only a mask. 3. Gilead Phase 2 Trial Gilead is conducting a Phase 2 trial to evaluate the safety and efficacy of SLGN containing combination therapies for the treatment of CHB. The randomized, uncontrolled, open-label, and multi-center study has enrolled 103 participants and is due to end on 1 January 2024. The trial has three experimental arms. In the first arm, patients will receive a NUC, tenofovir olefanamide once a day and vir 2218 once per month. After 12 weeks, weekly SLGN and monthly nivolumab may be added. The second arm will only receive VIR 2218 initially and then may receive the weekly SLGN and monthly nivolumab. In the third arm patient will receive just SLGN once a week and nivolumab once every four weeks for 24 weeks. Dr. Jansen says, it gives profound HBSAG decline just not enough to get functional cure. So here, they're giving immune-modifying drugs in addition to that, to get that last piece, that knockout punch in place. 4. GSK's Beperoversin. GSK's Beperoversin, which is looking for a functional cure, showed very promising results during a Phase 2 in June 2022 and has now initiated a Phase 3 trial due to end in 2025. A phase 3 trial of Beperoversin is initiated in 2025. Which is best among these trials? Feld concludes, I think that GSK's Beperoversin will be beneficial for the market but not as a monotherapy. I think in the best case scenario with Beperoversin, we're probably going to be looking at about a 30% S loss rate and I hope that's not our end game. The investigational agent Beperoversin appears most effective in reducing hepatitis B viral levels for patients with chronic infection when given at a dose of 300 mg for 24 weeks, according to results of a Phase 2 B trial. Could other three trials or will be fruitful like GSK Beperoversin?
Most of these studies are seeking functional cure like GSK's Beperoversin, but do specialists think that any will show similar levels of efficacy? It's difficult to say, Janssen admits. I think Gilead's study has a likelihood to match up with GSK. For me, at the end of the day, the sustainability of the response is as important if not more important than getting the response itself. What the scientists are told about these trials. Dr. Antonio Bertoletti, professor at the Duke NUS Medical School, Singapore told, it is more important for trials in hepatitis B to find patient populations in which they may be most effective rather than seek a one-size-fits-all treatment. While Dr. Jordan Feld, clinician scientist at Toronto Western Hospital Liver Clinic and the McLaughlin Rotman Center for Global Health, says, I would be a bit surprised if this alone changes things all that much. And even if it does, you really have to balance it against if it's only useful in this population with really low S levels. How useful is it? Dr. Henry Jansen, professor of medicine at the University of Toronto says, the challenge will not be HBSAG and HBV loss but sustainment of that. To get it sustained. We think that we need an immune modifier to get that done. He also added, so you have to tickle the immune response in such a way that it takes control over. So this is all. I informed you already in this video. We will bring more videos with new update un hepatitis treatment and medications shortly. Stay happy, stay healthy. If you are a chronic hepatitis B patient with suffering from any complications, please share your comment in the comment box. We would like to request you, if you like this video please like and share our videos and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom of Health Channel.